Oh dear, this place seems more like a laboratory than anything else. So what are we looking for anyway? I don't know. Some clue, something that can aid us. Krizal had told us to come here first before we go rescue Kula, so it's because it's important. You're very optimist in trusting that guy. I say it's a waste of time. Krizal had never lied to me. I know there is something important here. I know there is. <laughs> Maybe. But I still think you're wasting your time. Maybe there's a secret door or something. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> The heck is that thing? It seems like... A crystal ball? Now that's just weird. There seems to be something in it. Wait, Ralph! Don't touch it! <laughs> the moment it was touched, that strange magic letters showed up. It is definitely not ancient Japanese. Could this be a clue? If it is, we don't know what it's saying. Maybe I can help. There's a translation software inside of my circuits that Ness put in. I should be able to translate whatever language this is. Just give me a minute. Well, what's it saying? It's just a simple title, so to speak. It says... This journal is the property of the sorcerer Amakusa. The sorcerer Amakusa? You know him? Yes. Amakusa was a young Christian leader who led a rebellion in Shimabara. But his army was quickly defeated by the Bakufu army and he was executed for his crimes. Due to his hatred against the world, his soul continued to wander within darkness. 150 years later, he was brought back into the world by making a deal with the Dark God, Ambrosia. He used the body of a samurai to come back to life during the Tokugawa era. He plotted to bring Ambrosia into the world by using the Palenkin Stone and its energy. But his plans were quickly stopped when a samurai by the name of Hohomaru killed him. But the truth is that Amakusa's soul was split into two parts, good and evil. The evil Amakusa plots world domination and created his ideal kingdom. Maybe this castle belonged to that dark entity. Whoa, that is some story. Well, that proves to be truthful. Strange that such a thing was never mentioned in the history books. And Ness was exploring an island that belonged to an ancient sorcerer? To think that I was never aware of this. There's one thing I don't get. All these events happened centuries ago. And like Maximus said, it was never mentioned in the history books. So how is it that you Akari guys know so much? Do you really think that we're just simple mercenaries? Don't underestimate the Ikari soldiers! Okay, let's get back to the problem at hand. Maxima, what else does the crystal ball say? It's pretty stuffy. There are dozens and dozens of pages floating around in some kind of space. It's almost like a middle-aged computer. Wait, hold on! There's a page here that is titled, Very Important. Check it out then. What does it say? Hold on, hold on! It says, Day 27 through 28. My dream of building a new humankind where I rule has been postponed all due to the actions of the spirits of the samurai that live in this age. Blah 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 blah. Ah, oh, here's something interesting. Day 47. The most surreal incident occurred when only I, Amakusa, had the privilege to witness. I eyewitnessed the arrival of a mysterious creature that came from the sky. A creature neither of the heavens, the earth, or the demon world? A creature who came from another universe? A creature that will prove useful to me. Or so I believed. This is some freaky stuff. Another universe? Like an alien or something? You gotta be kidding me. Why not? So far we saw some strange stuff. 
Who's to say that there aren't other life forms out there? Hold on, guys, there's more. For the first time in my existence, I realized what fear truly is. When I came forward to the creature, it held a power neither mortal nor demon could possess. The creature had an immense ability to shapeshift and a godlike power that could evaporate an entire civilization in a matter of seconds. The creature called itself Neo Dio. This experience was indeed frightful. It was like staring in the face of death, ripping away at my soul. Wow, this guy's one bad mother- Okay. For the first time in my life, I felt depression, which was humiliating for me. So to save my own existence, I summoned up all of my powers. I even used the immense energy of the samurai's spirit all over the world to seal the accursed creature. It was a very difficult process, but in the end, I was victorious. I should have destroyed the creature in its weakened state, but I was too intrigued on how much power this creature possessed. In the end, my own greed forced me to maintain the being that nearly executed me. I only hope that in my own ravagiousness, it does not lead to my own destruction. For that, I need to use the powers of the demon world. This is practically it. If you ask me, this whole thing sounds like a ghost story. It doesn't it matter what matter with sounds. sounds. What? Angel? How did she get here? Chega ao fim e acaba aquele fim.